We're joined now by Dr. Kim Anderson here at Foundation Seed. Kim, the February WASD is out looking at supply and demand numbers. Were there any surprises? Uh, there weren't any surprises in this report. The numbers came in right at expectations. Minor changes on corn, wheat, beans, cotton. All the reports were just almost uh, exactly what we had in the January report. With that kind of steadiness and no surprises, what is your wheat price outlook? The price outlooks about what we've been expecting over the last couple of months. You could look at the harvest prices that you can forward contract for. Uh, wheat up in northern Oklahoma, Medford, Pond Creek, around $8.15. If you go to the Panhandle, you add a nickel to that. Uh, you go down in southern Oklahoma, Snyder, you'll take off about $0.50. Cents. And if you're going to Weatherford and North and that area right in there, probably take off oh, $0.25 or $0.30. Cents. Uh, you look at uh, corn prices, five dollars and seventy cents. Of course, higher in the Panhandle area. That five seventy is overall for Oklahoma. Looking at soybeans, just under thirteen dollars, and cotton, it's just been staying at eighty three dollars, eighty somewhere in that vicinity over the last month or so. So, looking at wheat specifically, how much is that forward contract price due to the pandemic, and then of course Russia's war with Ukraine? Of course, with the uh, COVID. You know, I've said that we uh, take took prices from around 450 up to eight dollars. Then the war uh, last February, I uh, took it from the eight dollars up to over thirteen dollars. It's backed off. I think we've got most of the COVID impact out of the market, but I think there's the Russian Ukraine war with the amount of wheat and the little bit of corn coming out of there, they're definitely going to have an impact on prices. Now, what you can look at is the average annual U.S. prices and the ending stocks to use ratios and look at that relationship. And that should tell you and show you the impact of extraneous forces on prices. Uh, you go back to 2012 for the average annual price around seven dollars and seventy seven cents. The stocks to use ratio was twenty four percent. Uh, you can go in in mid about 216. Uh, you had uh, $3.90 for an average annual price, 55% stocks to use ratio. So you're looking at exactly uh, offset uh, relationship between stocks to use ratio and price. You come back to now, it's 30%, and this year's price is projected to re, uh, average around $9.10. You go back to, again, 12 and 13 with 24 and 30%. You had six fifty to seven dollars and seventy cent prices, so that tells you that oh, from around seven and a quarter to nine ten, or if you want to look out to harvest eight twenty five, there's about a dollar to a dollar and a half impact in prices, higher prices because of the Russian Ukraine war, and I think that's what we got to watch as we're going out in the future, watching that war and watching how the product moves out of that Black Sea area. I think it's already lasted a lot longer than anybody thought that it would. Oh, you bet. Uh, Russia, and I think it's just common knowledge, uh, Putin thought that he could go in and take uh, that country in a, in a couple months at the most. There are no expectations for a quick result from that war. Right now, it looks like it's going to go on for a while. So with all these numbers and all of these other factors in consideration, uh, how should producers market their crops? Well, in that, that war is not expected to end anytime soon. I think you just ignore that uh, impact. Uh, take that uh, dollar increase in prices, probably a 30 or 40 uh, cent increase in corn prices. I wouldn't do anything until I got closer to harvest. Our big problem right now is the drought, is the poor quality of our, our wheat that's in the ground and our uncertainty of yields. I think price is going to take care of itself. Yields is what we got to be concerned with. Okay, Kim, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.